Welcome everyone to KR 2020. My name is Michael Thielcher and I'm the general chair of this conference. Um, as you might see, I'm currently in my office in Sydney, which is definitely not where I wanted to be for this conference. Um, but as you all know, unfortunately, we didn't have a choice. Uh, we do have one participant, I understand, who did travel to Rhodes and is joining us from Rhodes like, uh, right now. Um, the expectation, of course, was that many more of us would have been able to do this. Um, let me share my screen so that we can start uh, with the opening session, which I will hold uh, together with the program chairs, Diego and Ezra. Um, first, uh, first duty that I have is to thank our sponsors that are all listed here, the Artificial Intelligence Journal, um, KR Inc., the Association of Logic Programming, the Center for Perspicuous Computing, um, your AI, as well as on topic. This is the 17th edition of the Conference on Principles of Knowledge Representation and Reasoning. I also uh, want to welcome our local chair for this conference, Pavlos Peppers, who has given me not really the latest participation numbers. These numbers are a few days old and I understand we have been receiving many more registration registrations since. Uh, these registrations from a few days ago, uh, we already had uh, almost 350 participants for the workshops and tutorials. 164. I understand that uh, over 100 more registrations have been received, um, which means that I'm sure by the end of this conference we will have surpassed uh, the threshold of 500 participants in this KR. Um, and that definitely makes it the best attendance at a knowledge representation conference ever, um, by far. Now the reason for this, um, of course, is that uh, it was originally intended to be held quite differently. Uh, a quick summary of the road to this virtual knowledge representation conference in 2020. Uh, of course, we started to talk about what we could do with this conference um, in March when um, everyone else had to think about what they would be doing with their conferences uh, this year. We decided that we wanted to wait and see how the situation develops until the notification date for the papers. And then we wanted to ask, the, or we did ask the community what uh, they would be thinking what the best possible model for our conference would be. So um, at the beginning of June, we had a community poll. And I'm assuming that most of you would have seen the results where we are asking whether we could possibly hold a hybrid conference where attendees travel to roads and uh, at the same time participants who can't or prefer not to travel would be able to attend the conference remotely. Uh, we got a surprisingly positive reply with about half the people that we were asking um, intending to register for physical participation or thinking about possibly um, attending and we thought that uh, this then would make for not the conference that we had originally planned for, but still uh, a nice and interesting and also very innovative event. Half the participation, half the participants physically and a lot more participants like we do have now remotely. So then uh, from June to August, we put all our efforts into preparing for the hybrid knowledge representation in 2020 until very unfortunately, in mid-August, uh, what happened in Greece was that, not like everywhere else, it was actually a first wave of COVID infections that hit Greece. Greece has been done remarkably well um, throughout the spring and the European summer, uh, but then unfortunately the first wave hit Greece uh, just a month before um, our conference. Uh, that meant that there were restrictions announced um, for gatherings for up to 50 people um, and that meant that we had to make the um, very sad decision after all the effort that we put into preparing for the hybrid mode 
to announce that KR 2020 will have to be follow virtual. Um, and it appears that the logo that we chose, this broken vase here, was more symbolical um, than we had intended um, our dreams for having a hybrid conference were shattered by these events. Um, we then, in the remaining four weeks, um, worked literally uh, day and night to get this virtual conference um, ready and up and running. Um, and in particular, we are uh, extremely grateful for our virtual conference arrangement chair, Paolo Feli, who on very short notice uh, agreed to um, organize the virtual KR 2020 and who has done an amazing job in getting everything ready for this conference. Um, we do have Zoom sessions for our parallel sessions. There are three virtual rooms. We are currently in room A that are all accessible through the program page. And I'm assuming that you would have read the information for participants um, already. In particular, please do so if you are going to present a paper. I also want to point out that we created Slack channels for questions and answers after um, every session. You get a chance to meet the presenters uh, virtually and can uh, engage in discussions on their papers. I also want to, in particular, point out the socialization platform uh, that we have built, Gather Town, um, that is in particular meant uh, just for everyone to wander around and bump into each other and have short chats in just the same way you would have chats during coffee breaks, for example. I will, at the end of this session, after the opening, the invited talk, and the presentation of the Best Paper Award, before the first coffee break, give you a very brief introduction into Gather Town, and then I hope that uh, most, if not all of you, will join me for this coffee break. And with this, I want to pass on to the program chairs, who are now going to talk uh, a little bit about the program for this conference. Okay, so, uh, so going virtual is not the only new thing at this KR. So uh, for the very first time, we had special tracks and sessions. So we had application systems track, recent published research track, special sessions on KR and machine learning, KR and robotics, and Zoom and KR. All these special tracks and sessions are chaired by uh, members of our community, as you see here, and we are thankful to all of them. Uh, next, please. So we have also uh, interesting invited talks uh, by Rashid Alami today, uh, Thomas Eiter, Matija Yamnik, Marta Kwiatkowska, Gary Marcus, and David Paul. And so we are also thankful to them. And uh, the KR uh, has also workshops and tutorials. So we had them um, the three days ago. And uh, so during the three days uh, before the conference. And Annie and Renata uh, have prepared an interesting program with four workshops and four tutorials. Uh, I attended some of them, they were very nice. So the DC uh, also happens at KR. Uh, Washak and Raphael um, prepared the program. So we have 12 DC students where we, give, uh, where we provide some opportunities for them to present their studies you know, um, in the DC session and also today uh, with their lightning talks uh, in the main conference. So tomorrow in the pastor session and they also had a lunch with the mentors. So we are lucky to collocate with the Yale and NMR this year. Uh, so I heard that they also ran uh, very uh, nicely. Next, please. So if uh, we summarize the highlights of the program, uh, so we have invited talks, uh, six invited talks. So we have four invited talks every morning and two today and uh, tomorrow uh, evening. Uh, we have, uh, Awards, award talks. So um, uh, today, Tuesday, Friday, after the invited talks, uh, as I said, we have DC lightning talks. Uh, we have a poster session. 
So again, for the first time, we have uh, a special session uh, on women in care. So uh, which have also a program on Thursday after the uh, morning invited talk. And we have virtual receptions at Gather Town and virtual banquet also at Gather Town. So uh, see you there. So next, Diego. Yes, let me say a few words about the submissions and some statistics of the conference. Can you advance, please? Yeah, so uh, as, as in KR 2018, we had different types of submissions, uh, but we distinguish between regular papers, short papers, and also we accepted in this case extended abstracts for 2020, but only for the recent published research track, which was a special track also handled by a separate TC and uh, which was accepting abstracts accompanied by the paper uh, that was presented in some other venue. And uh, we wanted to highlight that KR, uh, important research for KR that, uh, that was presented in other important venues. And we had several submissions there. We'll see the statistics in a second. Uh, we accepted the papers either as regular or short as it was submitted. And we had also a few papers that uh, we decided to uh, accept as short papers, although they were submitted as long papers. This was based on recommendations of the PC. And finally, uh, we thought that it would be good to highlight some of the papers that could not make it uh, into the program uh, as poster presentations, because they might present uh, interesting ideas that, however, are not uh, refined enough uh, to be uh, to make it to a program, but still interesting for the community. And uh, we'd like to thank, uh, uh, sorry, uh, can go, the uh, all, all the program committee and area chairs and special track chairs uh, who did a, an incredible amount of, 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 of good work uh, uh, and managed to, to help us to set up this, uh, I think, uh, nice program. Yes. So this is uh, some statistics about the submissions uh, divided among the different types of, uh, of acceptance as long as short and posters and the rejected papers. As you can see, uh, we had a, a, high, a slightly higher number, a higher percentage of accepted papers, uh, namely 34% than in, in previous years. This was based on the idea uh, to essentially accept all papers that were recommended by the uh, area chairs and, uh, and, and program uh, committee members uh, without penalizing papers uh, for cutting, uh, for, for, for reasons to cut down the program. There is a discussion on this that we should add uh, whether we should maintain this policy because there are some uh, evaluation venues that evaluate conferences that uh, uh, impose a certain threshold on the acceptance rate to be, for example, a star conference. So this is under discussion in the CAS steering committee whether to maintain this policy or not. Okay, so uh, in fact, this is what I was mentioning before that you see we had this year a higher uh, acceptance rate than, than in previous years. Uh, Over, we had also a higher number of submissions, but this higher number, I would say, is uh, essentially we had the same number of regular submissions as in the past year, high, a bit higher than previous years. In addition, however, we had the recent published research track for which we received 44 submissions as well. Thank you. The next one, please. So this is uh, uh, some statistics of acceptance uh, and uh, submission by, by country. We see that, uh, uh, I mean, we have different uh, number of submissions uh, based on the countries and also different acceptance rates uh, based on the country. Uh, I mean, some of the usual players are well represented, but uh, we have essentially good representation from all over, all over the world. Let me say a few words about the awards that were signed. Can you move on? Yes, so we had, as in the previous editions, Best Paper Awards. So, so we have the Ray Wright Best Paper Award. And this year we decided to uh, assign also an award to the run-up, so to uh, mention also the run-up. So not only the winner of the award, which will be, uh, which will present the paper uh, today, right after the invited talk, uh, but also the run-up. Uh, then we have the Marco Cadori Best Student Paper Award, and uh, uh, also in this case, uh, we decided to uh, to single out the, the winner, but also the, the run-up paper. The, best, the Marco Cadori Best Student Paper Award will be presented, the, the winner will, will present the paper tomorrow again after the invited talk. 
Uh, this year we decided, uh, it was decided uh, uh, in agreement also with the KR steering committee for the first time to set up a test of time award for KR, which was not present before. Uh, so uh, we, there was some discussion um, also shared with the KR steering committee on how to uh, set up this award. Uh, the decision that was made was essentially to uh, identify two types of awards. The first one, which is called the Prominent Paper Award, which recognizes outstanding papers that are published in a window of three conference editions around 10 years ago. And the second award is the Classic Paper Award, which uh, publishes outstand, uh, recognizes outstanding papers which were published in a window of three conference editions around 20 years ago. Uh, it was decided to take uh, a window and not a single edition of the conference because there might be differences in the number of uh, top papers and of papers that have impact in the later years in the various uh, editions. Uh, and uh, if there is an edition where there are uh, several good papers uh, that had a strong impact in subsequent years, uh, in fact, these papers can be considered for different editions of the award and they don't need to exclude each other. That's why we, it was decided to take this window approach. Uh, also, and this was uh, what we did this year, it was decided to also award uh, the, 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 the classic paper work to papers uh, which were published uh, prior, prior to 20 years ago. And in fact, uh, in this year of edition of KR, the next slide, please. Yes, we have two of these uh, classic paper awards, one for the wind of uh, 1989, 91, 92. Uh, which was uh, uh, assigned to a paper by David Randall, Zhang Kui, and uh, Anthony Cohn uh, of uh, KR92, and the second award for the wind of 98, uh, 2000, 2002, which was assigned to Ian Horrocks uh, for his uh, KR98 paper. And uh, uh, we thank uh, the uh, committee, the awards committee, uh, which did an incredible job in uh, singling out uh, among many papers that, uh, that were well qualified, uh, the ones, the winners for this year. Thomas Eiter, Jerome Mang, and Ulrike Sattler. Sorry, I forgot uh, before on the previous slide, if you go back to mention uh, and to thank also our award committee. You know, uh, in the previous, again, uh, the, the first award committee who selected the best papers which uh, uh, Gabriele Carmi Bernard, David Tull, and, and Tran Chao, who also uh, did a, a very good job because we identified initially many candidates and uh, in the end they singled out these, these four winners. I should also mention that we uh, identified, the award committee identified two papers which were uh, selected uh, uh, for a fast track at TPLP. Uh, and moreover, the award winners, the Marco Cardoli and uh, Ray Wright, the best paper award winners, they are uh, also uh, invited to submit for the fast track of the AI journal. Thank you. Okay, I hand over you, again to, to Michael to close this uh, introductory session. Yes, uh, thank you Ezra and uh, thank you Diego. Um, this is the last slide uh, for the opening. Um, and I, I just want to uh, stay here for a few uh, seconds because this lists uh, all the officials for KR 2020. Uh, 20. Um, of course, there were many more who were helping with organizing uh, this conference, but I want to in particular thank everyone on this slide here because what uh, ultimately um, was required from everyone was not what uh, everyone was signing up uh, to begin with. There was at least uh, twice the amount of work for everyone not only what you would normally do for a conference, but then um, everything had to be organized also for this virtual edition of the conference. Um, in addition to thanking everyone on this slide, I want to in particular point out uh, five people who have been working literally day and night in order to get this uh, conference, the virtual conference in particular, uh, ready. Uh, first of all, uh, Diego and Ezra did an amazing job as program chairs um, again, not only with uh, selecting papers, um, organizing the reviewing process, uh, setting up a program, uh, but then also having to rearrange the entire program and uh, having to get ready for this virtual conference. I'm uh, equally grateful to Paolo Feli uh, for, as I said earlier, uh, agreeing to be the virtual conference arrangement chair and uh, getting everything, everything up and running uh, within the last four weeks, together with someone who's actually not on this slide here, 
but who happens to be the um, co-chair at this uh, session, Stefan Borgwart, who was one of the uh, program co-chairs for DL um, and who was also spending um, much of his time um, helping to get uh, the combined DL and KR virtual event ready. And then last, but certainly not least, I want to in particular thank our uh, local organizer, Pavlos Peppers, um, for whom it must have been uh, really very sad uh, that we couldn't hold the conference in Rhodes as was originally planned. Um, and he probably had the toughest job of us all, um, not only organizing everything locally, but then canceling everything, trying to get uh, the money back that we already paid and then getting everything organized for the uh, virtual conference. So he was busy right from the start up to the very end. And uh, therefore I want to thank him as well as the other four that I mentioned and everyone else on this slide, plus everyone behind the um, scenes who were helping to get this conference up and running. And for this, I ask for a round of applause to um, everyone who helped making this conference possible. Okay, good. I hope uh, I got the volume right that you could hear it and you didn't fell off the chair. Now with this, I'm declaring the uh, Conference KR 2020 open. I wish everyone an enjoyable and also a very fruitful conference. Thank you very much. And we will be moving on uh, straight away with the first invited talk at this conference.